Hi guys, this is Mochan, and today we will be painting and assembling Master Grade Gundam Double O. This is the first video and I hope to improve more. Please do comment and suggest down in the comment section below. Uh, for this kit, it came to me already snap built, so I had to disassemble some parts and paint them separately. But as always, it is always a good idea to test your air and paint flow on a test piece before beginning. And also make sure all knobs are sanded properly. For this build, I used my own shade of Tamiya X10 gun metal for the inner frame parts by uh, mixing X1 black and X32 titanium silver. For this specific red chin piece, I didn't do any pre-shading as the part is too small. Uh, I quickly went with X32's titanium silver followed by X27 clear red. For all the yellow piece in the chest and the V-fins, I used X31 titanium gold. The first few seconds of the video got corrupted, so I had to cut it short and forward into the part where the piece is already painted. And I did a light shading on all white parts on the kit by layering surface primer, followed by a highlight of X2 white and then coated with decanted Tamiya TS45 pearl white. All top coats were done off cam as since they are clear and would not have been visible. After painting all the required parts on the head, I reassembled the head. I had some problem with the Mohawk orientation as it was confusing which side the manual was referring to, but ultimately it was done nicely. Moving on to the shoulders, to do a shading, I did a base coat of X1 black highlighted by X32 titanium silver and then lightly coated with X23 blue mixed with X22 clear to give it more of a shiny look. I applied decals onto these parts which will be shown in the video later.
by using a warm water, a random pick, a cotton bud, and a tweezer, I was able to apply the decals nicely. As I was fitting the foot of the Gundam, I had a problem where inner frame part won't slide on the red part as the paint was too thick for it to slide. So I used my tweezers to remove the paint on the area where parts is supposed to go. This technique can also be used in joints and peg connectors for easy applications.
I applied light panel lining with Tamiya panel accent color gray. showing the O riser in this video as it contains a special X and visor resin kit and would be great for another video.
I had to cement in the shield using to me a tin cement as the peg is broken as shown in the video. As I was assembling it, I noticed that it has been glued and I had to cut the peg and slowly cut the glued plastic in order to disassemble it. That's it! Thanks for watching guys! The X and Visor video will be coming up next, so stay tuned for it. I hope you enjoyed.